we're crediting Mad Bum with a no hitter, right? Like he threw. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he would have got a nine inning one because he had ninety eight pitches, but maybe would have. But also, like, if you're gonna credit it as a complete game in the book, which I don't think you should. Well, I don't care, but you can't do complete game not a no hitter. It's either, it's not a complete game. Whatever, it's a complete game no hitter. He didn't choose the circumstances. I yeah, that's kind of where I landed. I'll I'll go through my whole process real quick. At first, I was like. Wow, MLB got in front of this one and nipped it in the butt. Like, the day they announced seven inning games, they said, you know, perfect game or no hitter won't count. And to kind of end the conversation. And it was like, okay, yeah, I, I kind of get that because it's seven innings, baseball's nine innings, I get it. And then, you know, you see Mad Bum do it and you're like, well, fun. Fun exists, I like that. But then, yeah, I saw everyone else on the internet that was doing the, you know, like, this was the game he was given. He was given a seven-inning game. It's not like they played two more innings or he could have even said, let's play two more innings. Like, he was given a seven-inning game, and he threw a no-hitter. So I I almost <laughs> – there was an error. That was the only – Ahmed threw one away. So I'm almost happy it wasn't a perfect game because I think if it was a perfect game, I think people would be a lot louder. Like, I already think the internet stopped caring about it a little bit. Um, but, yeah, I mean, Zach Gallons, one-hitter – Goes down as complete game one hitter, mm -hmm. and it's in history with all the other one hitters. Yeah, but they want to exclude Mad Bum's on. I think they're going to figure this one out. I, I think baseball's smart enough to find the easy win here and just do it. And it's hilarious that it's Mad Bum. Did you hear his post game, Trev? I I did hear it. It's pretty. Funny. I didn't know that he like had humor in his bones or like uh, lightheartedness is a, a better way to put. It. He's probably funny, but lightheartedness like. Well, dude, he's probably super stoked. He's been so bad. He had a really good game. He was like, this is awesome. It's pretty good. You remember what that feeling Should was Should we like? play it for anyone? Maybe some listeners haven't heard it. Sure. By the way, Mad Bum did say he would have thrown a no-hitter. Well, of course, yeah. He should. So, take that for what it's worth. All right, here's his, pro here's his post game. 30 bullets in there. Uh, I just oh want to I want to I want to say two things that I'm going to go celebrate with the guys. <laughs> I want to thank these shadows in Atlanta. They helped me out a good bit. That's pretty awesome. And I want to thank Rob Manfred for making these seven inning games. All right. Then he takes the headphone off and leaves. That was like he didn't let them ask a, a, a single question. Power play. Do you, as a hitter, Trev, do you like him thanking the shadows because it's kind of like you know tipping the hat, like you know I I had some extra help. Here. It's funny. Yeah, I mean, it's funny because you do get pissed when there is shadows as a hitter. You know the pitchers are benefiting from it. But, you know, good for him. I think that that probably was a lot of weight lifted off his shoulders like we've been talking about. Like, I think he does care. You know, he's been pitching poorly, and, and he doesn't want to do that. Um, oh, man. Will this propel him to kind of like maybe he, did he find anything out or was it just the shadows? We're going to have to see next time he starts. Yeah, I'm monitoring it. Good for him. Jake and I, we were recording the Weekly Dumb this morning. We stumbled into a, a joke, I guess, or a thought that cracks me up. And it was Mad Bum petting his horses when he came home at night and telling them, like, we got a no-hitter tonight, boys. I did it. I did it. I'm back. You proud of Dad? Just petting his horses. <laughs> Beautiful. I like that visual. A I lot. bet money it happened. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And Jim, I almost sunsets I, behind him. It's like I yeah, almost, daddy did it tonight, boys. 